China makes IPR protection a national strategy. China believes innovation is the primary driving force behind development, and protecting IPR is equal to protecting innovation. Ning Gaoning, chairman of China National Chemical Corporation Limited and member of the CPPCC Standing Committee, also voiced out his concerns on IP protection and innovation during this year's two sessions. In a recent interview I had with him, I asked him for solutions. Mr. Ning, tell me more about your yeah. suggestion during this year's two session about patent protection. The intellectual property protection has been a, 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 a long time issue in China. It became an issue uh, domestically when China tried to um, encourage, promote innovation. So, uh, to encourage people to do more investment uh, in research and technology, it's very obvious you need to protect their patent, their uh, 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 invent, uh, uh, what they invented. So uh, it's so crucial today uh, because uh, I, I'm uh, taking seeds as example uh, because uh, uh, everybody mm -hmm. knew uh, SIS uh, technology in China uh, has been behind for a long time. And uh, there are many, many thousands, thousands of SIS companies in China. Very few of them got the technology. And uh, very few of them uh, spend money or investment or efforts to uh, do discovery type of research. Tell me more about these uh, challenges yes. that Syngenta is facing. Give me some examples. Yeah, uh, you know, Syngenta is a leading global uh, agricultural uh, science company. They're leading in uh, seeds, they're leading in uh, crop protection. Uh, you know, Syngenta spent $1.5 billion every year to do research. And every year, there, mm -hmm. there, must, there must be quite a few new um, uh, crop protection uh, sort of technologies, products, and the seeds, uh, you know, being being produced by Syngenta. Uh, but uh, you know, they they are cases in China, like uh, seeds uh, stolen by somebody, and copied and uh, widely use it and even come back uh, mm -hmm. to sue Syngenta, uh, their legal rights. And, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. sort of uh, abuse uh, this uh, uh, system. Because uh, China uh, adopted uh, the new plantation protection sort of uh, agreement they called UPOA. Uh, globally, but uh, with the version of uh, 1971, China needed to, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, improve it or to adopt a new version called 1996 uh, version of uh, seeds protection, uh, crop protection uh, technology agreement globally. So, I mean, there are things behind, there, there are things, uh, so uh, uh, without, without uh, uh, having that, um, you have a kind of a yeah. lot of uh, risk, a lot of challenge when you introduce a new products, new technology mm -hmm. in China. Mm. So, Mr. Ning, we all understand that Syngenta is a very interesting case study that the world is paying attention to about how Chinese global company like yours acquire uh, international companies and how they function within the, uh, the context. Uh, so, is this something that you newly learned uh, for example, because of your work uh, with Syngenta, or this has been the issue in your mind because of your other operations uh, in China? Syngenta uh, has been acquired by a Chinese uh, investor for more than two years now. And uh, Syngenta actually mm -hmm. is the leading at the market today. In technology, in market share, mm -hmm. it, it became uh, quite a uh, successful case today 
Yeah. But this year, your proposal of the two sessions, of course, has a lot to do with uh, what Syngenta is uh, encountering in China, uh, particularly about intellectual property rights uh, protection. Do you have any specific suggestions as to how to proceed from here? Uh, the two things. One is the law and the standard. Okay, uh, must be very clear and very up updated uh, uh, and, and a very um, uh, international uh, standard. So uh, every, uh, uh, in not only states, in every aspect of the economy, you know, economy uh, IP, uh, you know, uh, protection has been a major issue when it comes to growing this economy, when the country, uh, you know, invent or invest many things, uh, many, many, many resources into technology. So they, they, that's a must. Has been an issue in China, has been improving a lot uh, in the past few years, but there's still, there, there, there are something, there are more, more things to be done. Uh, in Sinjinda's case, mm -hmm. I think uh, we needed to uh, uh, upgrade our standard from the 1971 version of the agreement to 1996 version of mm -hmm. the global new plantation protection agreement. Okay, uh, so uh, this is something we have to do. Mm -hmm. Then is the enforcement of the law. You know, you got the rules, you got the things in paper, but you need somebody to really seriously, you know, enforce it. Make it a, uh, really, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a powerful uh, or enforceable, uh, 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 you know, a document. Punish the guys, punish the people who, uh, you know, steal other people's technology. Right. The execution of it. Well, I hope we could all be uh, passionately and also firmly, as you are uh, uh, suggesting, to work on this issue. Let me move on to another one, which is about how businesses these days, especially global companies that are based, uh, headquartered in China, will be able to uh, brave the storm, as they say, amid all the politics and geopolitics. Uh, Mr. Ning, what is your way? You know, I'm in business for many years. You know, I, I know almost every of the major companies in China. Uh, I know most. Uh, I know many of them in the U.S. and Europe, and other countries too. Uh, I think you know business right. has been sort of a, has been innocent, you know. Uh, business has been, uh, you know, brought into this politics. You know, Senator Kim uh, has been named as a as a as a as a military company. You know. I, I'm confused. I'm puzzled mm -hmm. by this because I don't know why. I, I, I think uh, we are we are uh, you know uh, sort of uh, uh, struggling to uh, to 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 uh, deal with this whole uh, sort of uh, uh, scenario, this environment, and uh, try to explain to everybody, mm -hmm. explain to our financier, explain to the. Uh, you know, to the to our customer, uh, to our employee, particularly to mm -hmm. our overseas employee, and uh, you know, try to say this is a, this this is a company, it's a commercial company, is working for its shareholder and working for its um, a customer, and we are doing good things for the farmers, for for the consumers. Yeah. I saw you at every year's APEC CEO summit. You were leading this group yep. of uh, Chinese CEOs, you know, contributing with other CEOs around the world uh, to the political leaders about how you look at the world and how to bring a better world together. I remember two years ago talking to you, and you were very passionate about this. You said you and your team were talking to them directly in closed door meetings about how to make things oh, better. Yeah. But now things are not better. I mean, Tell me more about how do you look at the reality with all of the great efforts you and others around the world business circle have made, but it seems that it didn't happen. You know, can we say, say I hope is temporary. Mm -hmm. I hope is uh, history mm -hmm. go into a sort of a wrong direction uh, in a short period, temporary. I hope it can be corrected uh, 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 very quickly. 